Mr. Transformers 96 here is another video. I'm going to be showing you my uh, my newest custom. These are some small customs, but they were very fun to do, and I uh, definitely was glad to be able to do them. But they're customs from the Avengers uh, Funko uh, Mystery Mini Series. I did Thor as well as Ebony Maw. I did these two characters simply because those are the two characters that I got duplicates of. Uh, I do have three Thors and three Ebony Maws, so I definitely want to do some uh, some customs with them. I, I first thought of it with Thor, considering like I just thought an easy one would be to throw on his eye patch, like that's. It's just an easy thing to do, but I ended up doing more than that with him, so uh, so that was kind of fun. And then when I you know realized that I had a second Ebony Maw, I was like, hey, you know what? The skin tone is not quite right, and I think that I could probably update it a bit too. So that's why I decided to do there. So well, let's talk about it. Let's start off with Thor though since Thor was the first one that I did. So here's of course the standard version with my custom version. So what I ended up doing was uh, painting, and all of these were just done by paint obviously. I didn't, you know, these are just mystery minis. I didn't go extreme with any sort of sculpting or, or taking parts off or anything like that. So I just uh, went in with paint and first off just started by painting his eye, giving him the eye patch look. Which is, is kind of necessary, obviously. I mean, just based on the merchandise, it seems that Thor gets his uh, his eye back in the film, obviously. However, he does start off with the eye patch um, as a result of the events of uh, Thor Ragnarok, so I wanted to represent that. It was very easy to do the eye. Luckily, since the original one's eye is outlined in black, um, I could basically just paint up until that outline, and therefore it was a very clean look. So the eye actually looks wonderful. I think that it looks, you know, great. I, you know, that couldn't have turned out any better, in my opinion. It looks just like factory done. Um, then I also added the kind of electricity bits in his uh, in his chest there at the like kind of dots of the suit. I did that to kind of represent what it, how you could see it on the Hot Toys version. The Hot Toys one has that where it has like the electricity kind of um, uh, bursting out of those kind of vents. So I wanted to represent that which was kind of fun. So I just got in there with some blue, light blue paint and just kind of painted them and then added little white dots in there so you could really tell that that like electricity was emanating from those circles. And then I took like a silver, mixed it with some water and gave the arms a bit of a wash to give that like chain metal a bit more of a look but it's still very dark like it's not silver in person um, but it does have a silvery shimmer to it but it's still it's like very dark so uh, so that looks really nice I am actually quite happy about that I think it turned out pretty cool and then I uh, painted the hair I just took a uh, brown and mixed it with a bit of water and just kind of give the hair a wash so it kind of just gave it some dimension Let's see in focus there so as you can see, it's very clean on the original one. This one has more dimension, has more shades of brown going on. And then his hair is just slightly darker in general. I feel like in this new movie it's darker, so it kind of fits better that way. So yeah. So it was kind of fun to do. So overall, the Thor one, I mean, just some easy little updates. Uh, there, You know, the original Thor is fine. Like, it, it completely works. But with these updates, it's just, it makes it a little bit better. So I do like that quite a bit. And I'm not quite happy to uh, to do that. I think that it does look neat. One thing is, I also, I didn't do the um, the shading on the um, the beard itself. I thought it would be nice to give his his hair a bit dimension as far as, like, separating the beard from the hair, themself, from the hair itself. So I, I did do that uh, intentionally. And then going over Ebony Maw, I'm a big fan of the uh, the Black Order. I'm very excited for them in the film, so I kind of I had more fun doing this one just because it's a character that I care a little bit more about. Um, but the Ebony Maw figure himself, uh, I realized definitely needed an update considering he's very blue. Like he's a light blue, but he is you know very blue. So that was something that I definitely wanted to change the skin tone. So I took a white and mixed it with a blue. Um, tried to do more white than blue though, and uh, and was able to uh, to get a a kind of a, a more dullish gray with a, a hint of blue in it. That, that's really where his, uh, his, his facial color should be, so that's kind of what I did there. I painted the whole face, I painted the hands. Um, with painting him, like, I had to paint around the eyes and everything, so uh, with him it was, it was much harder than, than Thor, like, obviously I didn't have to paint around the eyes, I just had to fill in the eye with black, which is a lot easier than actually painting around the eye, um, because it's not going to come out completely clean, so they, I had to do a lot more detail work with Ebony Maw. Um, which was kind of hard, and I did try a few like washes to like kind of settle in the in the recesses of some of the cracks in his head, but it didn't turn out good. It didn't look good at all. So what I ended up doing was scrapping that to uh, to completely take it off, and then I just took like a, a light gray and just kind of painted inside the crevices to kind of bring out his facial features. Which you know, on like if I was trying to make like a realistic figure, um, that wouldn't look great. However, on on a cartoonish animation like um, Mystery Mini, it works really nicely. So I actually 
really do like that a lot. It fits with the style a lot better. I also um, painted the under eyes uh, gray, which I, in the movie he very much has like gray around his eyes. So I definitely like that quite a bit. And then I did add the little lines under his eyes too. And then I painted his lips again in the movie from that close up where he's torturing Doctor Strange. You can really see some of this detail. Um, I did paint the, uh, the the lips that gray as well, which does add to um, to more you know realistic and, and more uh, uh, like the movie. Did add a little uh, extra little line there just to kind of show the divot uh, below his lips. So I did like that. On the back, this is the only place where I kept the wash that I tried, because it actually kind of worked uh, from the back on his little hair here. Um, it just kind of, the recesses are so deeper, so much deeper than on his actual face, that actually it's set a bit better. So that worked out. I do think that that looks pretty decent. And then as far as the costume's concerned, he doesn't just have a black costume. He's got gray, um, except for like the boots and, and the, uh, the, uh, the top sections of the, um, of the gloves. So that's what I did. I, I painted the legs and the arms gray to make it more movie accurate. And then of course I painted the hands as well, that was kind of hard to get in there. And then when I was painting the hands, you know, I kind of got it on some of the black of the straps, so I, I touched up the black straps and, and made them a bit cleaner too, so. So yeah, overall, it was really fun to do this custom. It was really fun to do both of the customs, actually. I had a good time. Uh, they, they were pretty, you know, easy, small, fun projects to do, which was enjoyable. And yeah, very much liked it. You know, I would definitely like to... Uh, it's a shame that I got three of each of these. It would be much better if I got two of these and then two of other characters so I could do customs on them because I certainly, like, if, if I got a duplicate of another figure, basically, regardless of what it was, I'd probably do a custom. It would be really fun. I'd like to do a custom of Thanos, maybe, um, or what I really would like is to do a custom of the other... Black Order figures like uh, um, uh, Cole Obsidian and Proxima Midnight, but those two I don't have duplicates of and they're a little harder to get, so I doubt I'll end up doing that. But if I ever do get more duplicates in the future, I do plan to do more customs. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on these two customs. They're very fun, pretty easy things to do if you're thinking of, uh, of if you, you have a couple duplicates. With Mystery Minis, it's so easy to get duplicates that uh, if you have some duplicates, it might be fun to, uh, to customize some of your figures. So I'd highly recommend doing that, and uh, I do think that these updates actually really help the figures in general. So there you go, that's my, th uh, that's my video about the Avengers uh, Infinity War Funko Mystery Minis, um, Ebony Maw, and Thor custom Mystery Mini figures. Let me know what you guys think of uh, my work, and thanks so much for watching.